Ishaal Sanadeen is going to be reciting a few verses from the Quran. Say, He is God, the One, God, the Absolute. He begets not, nor was He begotten, and there is nothing comparable to Him. Now, all of us will be singing the national anthem of Pakistan. Yet 
had both put the cultural dress of the Indian Muslims so the people would consider him one of their own. He was a a simple shell for him, carrying a cardinal cap, famously known as the Jinnah cap. He left a successful practice and a luxurious lifestyle to a struggle for the power that seemed impossible to make. He worked day and night, even though he started to get very ill. After a lot of struggles, he was the Indian leader and the British government accepted partition of India. It was now agreed that Muslims in the majority state would be considered part of a separate country. Finally, on 14th of August, like today, 1947, Pakistan came to existence. Jinnah you know was declared the first governor of Pakistan, also known as the father of Pakistan. He worked, did his best to help the people who had migrated in hope of a better future. His sister will also be remembered for her constant support for Jinnah. She is also known as the mother of the nation. Jinnah fell very ill and died a year after Pakistan was born. This was a very big loss to the newborn country Pakistan. His tomb is located in Karachi today. He is now called Kaidaza, meaning the great leader. And because, ladies and gentlemen, of this great leader, you and I stand here today as Pakistan and we are proud of it. I hope my speech was informative to you and gave you a new insight of this great leader's life. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, that is about Kaidi Azam's sister. Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to tell you about Fatma Jinnah. Fatma Jinnah was the younger sister of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. She got admitted in the death. Dental center to practice. She was the first woman to be to dental center.
If Jinnah found in Pakistan, they are the establishment, saying on the main lines of democracy, of policy, and for foreign. We will never let our freedom go. We shall fight aggression wherever it may be. Thank you. So next, um, Allah my God by Hafsa. Okay, so she's not coming on the camera. So you can just enjoy the audio. Do you know why are we celebrating our independence today? No. Yes. yes. Because Pakistan emerged on the world map. Yes. Today, exactly. But apart from this, we all should know the struggle that Pakistan faced and the heroes that played an important role in the independence of our country. I'm going to be telling one of those heroes and he is Ilama Muhammad Iqbal. Ilama Muhammad Iqbal was born in November 1977 in Sialkot. Now he is known as the National Poet of Pakistan and he is worldwide known as the Poet of the East. You know, do we call it Shahid or Shahid? Ilama Iqbal gave the vision that we should emerge as an independent state known as Pakistan. And his vision was a turning point in the independence of our country. In other words, let me tell you about his early life. He was born in a very important place. And at the age of few, he lost his vision of his right heart. But this is struggle.